I'm from Japan and my name is Laura. And I am his husband. My name is Oscar. Tomorrow I will travel for work to kill. Andrea, promise me that you will be a good girl and I will bring you a gift. Of course, Dad. I have brought you some gift. I hope you like. For you, Andrea, a doll and some cakes. And for you, Dan. And for you, Darby. Oh, this is me? <laughs> Daughter, when I was dead, call your father. If you miss me, remind me that you can see me in the mirror. Leave me alone, Mom. Oh, oh, oh. But this is only a mirror. You are saying yourself in the mirror, not mom. <coughs> so sorry. Excuse me. so bad that it will soon die. Who cares whether it lies or dies? I don't. Can you give me the tortoise? I will give you some money for it. Hmm. Okay. Mm. 
You're safe now. I'm going to take you back to the sea. The next morning, Urashima went out as usual in his boat. Urashima, Urashima! Mr. Tortoise! Urashima, yesterday you saved my life and I have come to offer you my thanks and to ask you if you want to see the palace of the Dragon King of the Sea. That will be perfect. After a long journey, Urashima and the tortoise reached the palace. Urashima, welcome to the sea palace. When he reached the portals, a beautiful princess came out to welcome him. Urashima Tal, I have sent for you to thank you for saving my life, because I was a tortoise. Now, if you like, you show life here and we will keep you around. There is nothing I could wish for more than you would permit to stay here with you. Urashima was so happy that he forgot everything, even his home, his parents and his own country. Then his mind came back to him and he remembered who he was. I must now stay here. I have an old father and mother at home. Oh dear, I have been very happy with you for a long time. But I must go back to my, my old parents. I will send you back with your parents. But please, take it back with you. What is in that box? That contains something very precious. You must not open this box. <coughs> After a long and short journey, Urashima arrived at his home. But there he didn't find anyone, so he decided to ask a man who was passing by. Excuse me, my name is Urashima Taro. Where have my parents gone? Haha, <laughs> you must not make such jokes. It is true that once upon a time, a man called Urashima Taro did live in this village. But it is a story 300 years old. The days I had spent in the palace had been hundreds of years and my parents died. My princess told me to never open the box, but maybe if I open the box, I will find something that helped me. Poor Urashima, because of his disobedience, he could never return to palace. Everyone that hear me never be disobedient to those who are quicker than you. <laughs> An old bamboo cutter was doing his work when he found a bright bamboo. When he cut the bamboo, he found inside of it a baby. He decided to adopt the baby and take care of her as his daughter. He named her Princess Kaguya, that means Princess of the Bright Light. After that, when he cut the bamboo, he found gold inside. Oh, what's that? That that is gold. So he became a rich man fast. The baby grew up and became a beautiful girl. All men were captivated by her beauty. So a lot of princes come to propose marriage to her. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Or me? Or me? The princess is not interested in marriage, so she sent them to impossible missions. No one will finish the princess mission. An emperor was interested in the famous princess, so he went to meet her. So you are the famous princess. What the people say is true. 
You are very, very beautiful. So the emperor fell in love for the princess. Princess Kaluya, marry with me and come to live with me in my castle. I will always take care of you. So sorry, emperor. I can go with you. I don't belong to this planet. Sorry, emperor. I can't. Now you can, but I will come back for you, my beautiful Kaguya. I will never forget you. In the summer, the princess was very sad. Every time she looked at the moon, she cried. The people was very worried for the princess. One day, she said she didn't belong to this planet, that she comes from the moon, and soon she will have to go back. The people of the moon will come for her. The day finally comes, and the people of the moon come for her. We come here to take you back to your home, princess. You will need to drink this, this elixir, elixir of life. That, you, that way, you will forget all your life in this planet. Please, let me say goodbye before. Thanks for always take care of me. I don't want to go, but I must. Please send to the emperor his letter. Hi. Yes, my little daughter. Then the princess ascend to the sky with the people of the moon. The time passed and the emperor was pressed. Oh, my beautiful Kaguya. Why did you left? I miss you so much. The emperor decided to write a letter in response of the princess one. Hey you, go to the top of Mount Fuji and burn this letter. It's an order. Yes, sir. That way, no matter where you are, my message will reach you, my beautiful princess. Yeah. Mother, she gave it to me, so I do. I could talk. 
head. After he this. Momotaro is a popular Japanese legend that tells the story of this kid who was born from a peach found by a couple of feathers in a river. They adopt him and when he grows up, he goes on a journey to save his country from the kings of demon, who lives in an island with a lot of devils. In his way, he will make new companions, the dog, the monkey and the fish. They will help him, they will help him in the final battle. The characters are Momotaro, the main character who was born from a giant peach. Parents, a couple of elders that we become to the adoptive parents of Momotaro, and a kind of demons, the villain of this story. Uh, he and his devils live on an island which keeps a great treasure. They spread panic on the area, that's why Momotaro wants to defeat him. Dog, uh, monkey, and pheasant. The three animals that will go with the Momotaro on his feet. Girl, Momotaro finds her in the island crying because the king has kidnapped her and she couldn't return, return home. Momotaro will help the girl and bring her back to the village. Long time ago, in the ancient Japan, there was a marriage of two poor elders. <coughs> they weren't able to conceive a children and prayed every day to make their wish come true, but it seems like <coughs> gods never listened to them. One day, when the old man was washing clothes on the river, she saw a giant peach going down it. She took it and thought, This is fabulous, we will have a great dinner today. And she ran with it into the house. At night, when the old man was about to cut the peach, <coughs> no, don't do it. The gods brought me here to make your wish come true. We will call you Momotaro, the song of a peach. And when Momotaro was 15 years old, <laughs> that I want to defeat the king of demons on the devil's island. I see, well, say that people, here, take my sword. I hear on some rice cakes for, for the way. Be careful, my son. I will. And he departed. Momotaro started walking when suddenly he found. A little dog staring at him very angry. Give me a hook or and I kill you. Don't try me. I'm Momotaro, son of the gods. Oh, so sorry. You can come with me in my journey if you want. Momotaro and the dog followed their way when they found a monkey. Where are you going? <laughs> we are going to <laughs> the king of demons. Come with us. Sure. The three heroes kept walking until they found a prison. Who are you and where are you going? My name is Momotaro and they are dog and monkey. We are going to find the king of demons and defeat him. Do you want to come? Fine. After hours of walk, they took a little boat and sailed towards the island. When they arrived, they moved found a beautiful girl crying in the bay. Warrior, they approached her and asked, Hey, why are you crying? How can I get into the king castle? The king of demons kidnapped me and I can go back home with my parents. Honey, please, you can go over that way. There's a secret passage. The king dev devils go through there when they go outside to panic people. Don't worry, I will defeat the king and when I do that, I'll come for you and take you back home. 
Thank you. After defeating a lot of demons, they finally reached the king and then the brave Momotaro said to him, You king of demons, I am here to defeat you. You can't do anything against me. Let's fight, guys. They had a long battle that lasted towers, but finally Momotaro found a moment to attack the king because he was so tired. And in a second, he cut the, king, the king's horns, so he lost his power and died. After a short time of recovery, the group started to search the hidden treasure, which they found after some hours. We are rich, Momotaro! Finally, when Momotaro came back to his town, he gave money to his parents and the citizens and brought back the girl. That's the end. Yes, yes. Yeah. in Japan two brothers who were called the Happy Hunter Mountain and the Bell Fisher The two brothers live very happy with One day, two brothers come and one save the other. Why we do not change occupation? Why do not you do the college? Oh yes, I I think a good idea. The two brothers go down. to work to carry out the occupation of others. The happy hunter was not able to catch a single fish and realized he was the worst fisherman of the world. But the hunter <coughs> catch a single fish and realized it was more fisherman. Happy Hunter realized he had lost hope of his brother and knew the world behind it and began to search for it. The other brother came and that something happened. What are you doing, my brother? Oh, my brother, I have in this long bandy. What is the matter? What has to go? I have lost precious species of birds. Okay. <coughs> the brother got angry and did not return her things, hunting until fish is hooked. The happy hunter continued searching the book and asked to be the phone. An old man who asked if he was happy hunter. You must travel to the kingdom of sea with the king. I will help you. Happy hunter's kingdom came to see and two beautiful women open the door. And <coughs> I am a traveler who wanted to catch my tears and went to home. I wanted someone come to open up and do a favor. I am the ransom of the Sunni countries. We are the daughters of the sea king. I need your father help my king, my, my brother who or never get for me. Doubtless, her father warned a rival ransom of the goodest and um, called people for it to be well recited. The happy hunter told the sea dragon king why he had gone with him and his help in power. Do not go so strong. Stay a little more, please. Happy hunter. Okay, but little girls. After a while, the boy wanted to return to Japan with his brother, but before 
he was present in the stones that control the tides. The brother who stood in the bank wanted to be the other, but like his brother could control the tides and keep him returning to the powers of Japan. Thank you. Years ago, there was an emperor in Japan who had a son called Yamato. And the emperor loved him more than his other son. When the prince was 16, his father sent him to expedition. Oh, these things will give you good luck. I will now set out. After many days without getting nothing, his men thought all was in vain. This way I wouldn't kill my enemies. If you disguise Singel with my clothes, you may be a chance to kill them. His wife was right. Yamato arrived at the enemy's base and no one know who was he. Ha ha ha! What a beautiful woman! Let's drink some wine! When the rebel was through, Yamato killed him. Who are you? Who are you and why did you kill my brother? I'm the Emperor's son and I came here to kill you and your brother. I never thought someone called Kitas. Allow me to give you a new name. Before returning from Yamato, passed through the village of Indu, where he knew that a, another ogre called Itsu Takeru lived. The prince invited Takeru to the bank of the river Hinokawa. Let us prove which is the better foreman of the two. The prince killed of the enemies of the kingdom. When he got home, was received by, by all much loved by his father. When the prince had three, 30 years, there was a new field in Japan and the king didn't know whom to send and let his men. I will go. Take his spear called the eight armed left spear of the holy tree to subdue the barbarians. Oh, use this only when it is most needed. Yamato reached Sugura and the governor gave him a very good welcome. You want to go there hunting? In this room, we have the best deer. When they were hunting, Yamato saw that there was fire in front of him. And when trying to flee, realized he was surrounded by flames. This deer hunt was the only uncanny trick of the enemy. Yamato took his word and backed that gave him his own. The flames changed the direction of the prince as a ship to escape. I achieved the escape thanks to give from my own and seek of the suffice. Leaving Jaisu, he marched eastward and came to the shore at Itsu from whence who wished to cross to Katsuka and one day. In Owari, Yamato meets Prince Yamaguchi and before leaving Itsu. When I return from the war, I will come Owari to marry you. When they reach the sea from of Itsu, the prince was the pride of his strength, his coffee and sight. This is not the sea. <coughs> this is only a group. 
Why do you mean that one so many boats will jump from here? This I would. <laughs> While they were navigating a stone rock, suddenly all this has come because the prince has a great ring Jin, the god of the sea, by his jesting. If so, I, Otachibana, will appease the god of the sea god, who decides nothing less than my husband's life. When they reached the shore, the prince would raid the deed of his wife. He won the war and returned home. She decided to take a different wife. In Omi, the prince saw that people were afraid and asked. What's happening here? <coughs> there is a monster in the mountains. The day was everything. I will finish with him. The prince left off the mountains and along the way found a snake. I don't need my sword. I will kill her with my own hand. Hence. It started to rain and the prince could not see where he was going. Shortly after it came out the sun and the prince started to feel bad. The snake has poisoned him. Let us prove which is Vale, <laughs> after several days I feel better. She went to the temples of ice she, with her aunt, who will come him. Thank you for gifts and two goddess and protegas. I have survived all the dangers. I have returned home safely. And um, this is the... Gracias.